matter how impressive a picture may be, it needs a frame to emphasize its work. Similarly, no matter how good our products may be, they also need a proper setting to do them justice. A setting that sells. And that is why we pay so much attention to seeing that the shops that sell our shoes are as attractive as they can be. And that is why, to keep abreast of the times, the barter store in the Grand Hotel Arcade, Calcutta, was recently modernized. It is now a show place for shoes and attracts many a passerby. But to give this barter store a new face, much had to be done. First, a great deal of the old structure had to be torn down. And to do this, scaffolding had first to be erected. Bamboo scaffolding, which you'll find used in 99% of the building work in India. It may surprise many of you to see these men going about their jobs barefooted. Maybe not a very good advertisement for us who sell shoes. But their experience has made them surprisingly agile at avoiding injury to themselves, especially their feet. A skilled Indian artisan is commonly called a mystery. There's no mystery about it, because in several Indian languages, mystery means artisan. The average mystery is a diligent worker with a fine sense of balance. He takes pride in his work, whether he's on the ground or up in the air. The old order changes, and in the changing, the Indian workman handles the situation delicately. He demolishes without being destructive in the process. have a rip-roaring time, but he doesn't uncover more than the bare minimum. After the clearing away is completed, the designer, the contractor and the foreman check on the new furniture design and construction. In modern India, where the tempo of life is increasing, even the furniture takes on a streamlined look. But with barter, it's never at the price of comfort. For instance, every chair that's designed for our Indian shops must be good to look at and good to sit in. And that means no skimping on materials or labor. Without sacrificing quality, the work of renovation goes on at high speed. Why? Because there's a target date to be met, and that is the 6th February, 1959. Credit for creating and designing the new look goes to the store improvement section of the Barter Sales Office in Calcutta. And credit to them, too, for using only materials which are readily available in India thereby promoting indigenous industry and saving valuable foreign exchange. How many men worked on the job? 50 mysteries were employed for five weeks, and towards the end of that period, they worked night and day to complete the job on time. All the hard work certainly paid off, as you can see here. An eye-catching exterior that really helps the store to put its best foot forward. And with this elegant variety of footwear, the people of India, too, can do just that. Barter, a sign of the well shod. Footwear for every occasion. Footwear for young and old, for service or for sport. As for the interior, it welcomes you with open arms, telling you and your feet to come in and take it easy. 
Even footing the bill here is a comfortable proposition. Guess how many pairs of footwear are stocked in these pleasant surroundings? Give up? The answer is 9,000 pairs. Footwear of every description, ranging from rugged boots that can take it to dainty feminine sandals that will make their owners dance with delight. Everything here from display to shoe selectors are designed for easy maintenance. A big problem in India where one has to continually cope with summer dust and monsoon mildew. As for the seating, it's spacious. 50 customers can have their feet fitted at a time quickly and in comfort. The typical Indian scenes that adorn the walls enhance the character of the store. thousand pairs to choose from for every size and shape of foot. A goodly collection, yes, but sales are expected to top 200 pairs a day. The keynote of the color scheme is coolness, a deciding factor where temperatures of 100 degrees or more Fahrenheit are not uncommon. From floor to ceiling, Everything is in readiness now for the great event, the opening ceremony to be performed by Mr. Thomas J. Barter. And here he is, with the charming Mrs. Barter and distinguished officials of the company. Time, 5.45 p.m. on the 6th February, 1959. In time-honored fashion, we cordially greet our guests and say it with flowers. It's a proud moment for us and for them as well. Heading the reception committee, Mr. Day, additional sales manager, says it's his proud privilege to welcome everyone. He adds, how fortunate we are to have Mr. and Mrs. Barter with us today, as well as our many patrons and guests from overseas. Mr. Day thanks our contractors and workers for a job well done. Finally, he asks Mr. Barter to say a few words. The guest of honor congratulates everyone concerned on the reopening of this fine store. Mr. Barter says that the accent must always be on distribution, an important service performed by our stores and the stores of our dealers. He thanks everyone who took part. With these words, Mr. Barter cut the ribbon to declare open to the public our modernized shoe department store in Calcutta's Grand Hotel Arcade. Another barter store to serve India's largest city. Another splendid link in the growing barter chain that serves the people of India. Millions and millions of our countrymen in every walk of life who trust their feet to barter.